hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ig your fashion teacher and here is ig designs thank you to all my returning subscribers my well wishers my passers by my viewers all of you are welcome thank you i appreciate all your support thank you for coming back to check what i have for you guys so now today's tutorial we're going to learn how to diy our wig cap we the ladies that like to yeah cover up our hair with different type of wig caps today i want to show to you guys how i make my caps my wig cap is very easy and simple to make so i said let us share let us learn together so you need your cap I have one here is a medium size is a medium size I believe the medium size is beta because it can be okay for any type of hair size so I go by the medium I go by the medium cap do you see it and also my attachments do you see them I have three pack of it and my closure so the next thing I need is my doll my hair doll so what i have to do is just to take the cap take the cap place it on your hair doll to get to mark where you have to sew it so you have to place it place it on your hair doll do you see it you place it in this form place it very nice then you take first your closure you take the closure now take your closure and you place it in the front place it very well in the front let me place it and show it to you guys and now place it i take my pins you also need your pins eh, to hold it so i now take my pins to hold it also hold the back also pin the back down you see it that's the first thing to do that is this the closure after doing that then you get your pen or your chalk then you mark round where the closure is you mark it around because you are going to sew the other one before putting on the closure then you mark it round do you see it you mark it round see what i did you mark it round so after marking it round you take off the closure see what i did i mark it round where it has to be where the closure has to come do you see it i mark it round so the next thing to do is to just take my tape and measure one inch i'll sew it from side to side so at the down part of it i'll start by this down i'll start this here so I will now take my tape and I will measure one inch from side to side. So let me show to you guys. So now I've done. Now do you see it? That's where the closure is going to be. So this is the one inch. Just mark it so that when sew it, it's going to be on a straight line from side to side. The first line, then I mark one inch until I get to the up. So all these things you are seeing is one one inch then i mark it from side to side from side to side i mark one inch until i get to up so now it's time to sew it so we are going to start sewing it with our machine now guys it's time to sew our hair to our cap so now the hair i'm using is 10 inches you see it's it's a deep wave so the next thing to do now 
is to first of all open it up from the packets do you see it so i open it up it's a new one so you have to cut all the threads that is involved So now the thing to do is to open it up. So after opening it up, you know it's double. You know it is double. So I have to sew it. Is to sew it together. Just to hold it together. You know it's double. So you have to sew it together. So let, let us sew it together. Just put it under your machine. Just put it under your machine. You can use this. So now, guys, I'll sew all the all the hairs together. Then we'll now start fixing it to our cap. Guys, I want to show you something you see the one i have sewn together do you see how it is do you see it so that when you are sewing it to your cap it will be easy for you then this i have not sewn it together let me show you guys how it is do you see it is in two like this so when it is in two do you see it the one this i have not sewn it together so do you see how it is so when sewing it to your cap it will be difficult except you want to sew it one after the other but this that I've sewn together now is easy to sew to your cap. So that is why I'm sewing it together so that it will be easy while making the cap. So now let us start sewing it to our cap. Guys, having sewn all together, do you see it? I will advise while sewing it to use your zigzag uh, line to sew it. It's better than the straight line. The zigzag is better. So now get your cap. Remember you have marked your lines. So place it on your machine. Then you start sewing. So now I'll take the first one. I'll place it. Since you have sewn it together, it will make it easier. Then I'll place it in this form. Remember from side to side where you have already marked so now don't don't pull it while sewing leave the machine to do the rest for you remember the cap is elastic so don't pull it just sew it gradually I don't want to cut it so I'm going to sew it to turn it over because I don't want to I'm going to the second line now just sew it you turn it gradually I don't like cutting it so that I can use it for something else just follow the line you have already the one inch line that you have already made you have already drawn on it, just follow it up. Guys, let me show you the one we have already made. Do you see it? 
Do you see the one that we have sewn? Do you see it? So now I'm going to finish all the lines. When I get to attaching the closure, I'll show it to you guys. The way we now fix it, that is the way I'm going to also from the lines we have drew, I'm going to sew it. Then when we get to fixing the closure, I'll show it to you guys. Now guys, I have finished sewing it. Do you see it? Do you see the inside? Do you see how beautiful the inside looks? Do you see it? So now the next thing is to fix our closure. To fix our closure. Do you see I have finished sewing it from ear to ear, side by side. So now I'll place it on the head of my pop. I'll just place it on the head of this pop. You see it? I place it on the head of the pop, then marking the center of it. Here is the center, and I'll take my closure and place. Now I'm going to use hand thread and needle to sew it. Now I'll place my closure here. Do you see it? The edge will come down. Because, you know, we are going to cut off this after sewing it. So now I'm going to place it here and pin it down with my pins. Do you see it? I'll pin it down with my pins. And also on this side, I'll pin it. And also on this side, I will also pin it. You see it and also on the center here I'll pin it so that it will be I'll take my pin on the center I'll pin it so that it will be strong on the cap for me to start sewing it so now my needle and thread is ready Do you see it Do you see the kind of needle so now we'll start sewing it. So now let us sew it. Start by the sides. We'll start by the sides to sew it. Make sure you are not sewing it with the pop. You only sew it to the cap. I'll now make a, I'll now close it up here. I'll tie it to hold it. I'll now start. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. You see it? I start seeing it. I'm sewing this side of it. So yeah, let me stand on this side. Yes. So I'll start to sew it.
Do you, sew how, do you see how I'm sewing it? So I'm going to sew it all through. I'm going to sew it all through. Then I'll show it to you guys. As I've come to this end of the side. Do you see it? Just take it gradually. Do you see it? Just take it gradually here. You have to take your time here because it's the front side. So you have to take it in a smooth manner. To make it to be strong. So that it doesn't lose. So it two to three times here. So that it doesn't lose because it's the front part of it. So now I've sewn our closure. Do you see it? The closure have been sewn. So what I have to do now is to take it back to my machine to sew it also with the machine. I'll sew the closure also with the machine and also trim off this front part. Then I'll show to you guys the final look. Now guys, I have secured the closure. Can you see it? Can you see the closure? I've secured it by sewing it all through. And also, that's the inside. That's the inside. So now, the next thing to do is to cut open. Here that the closure is, I have to cut it open. I have to cut it open. To cut it out and also trim off this. And I'll put it in it. While cutting it open, try not to cut on the thread. Just give it some inches allowance so that you don't cut on the thread or cut on the closure. Just be careful while cutting it. Now I've cut it out. So guys, do you see it? I've cut it. Do you see how it is? So beautiful. Do you see it? That's our hair that we have just made. So I'm going to put it on now for you guys to see how it looks on me. Now guys, this is the wig cap we have just DIY now. Do you see how beautiful it looks? Let me turn the back for you guys to see. Do you see how it is? So beautiful, so lovely. Do you see it? Why not make one for yourself? And tag me on Facebook or Instagram. If you want, you can add a little elastic on it, but my cap is too tight, so I don't need the elastic. So if your cap is not tight, you can measure some inches from your elastic cut it out and just tag it with your thread and needle by the side just by the side from side to side to put it on so that it help it but if it is as strong as mine you don't need the elastic rubber so now guys in this tutorial on how to diy your own cap wig cap has been helpful to you don't forget to like share comment on my videos and on this channel, we'll be learning what makes us look beautiful, happy, and elegant. On this channel, I'll be showing you everything I know about fashion. So check it out always. For those that don't want to subscribe, consider subscribing. We are a lovely family. And for my subscribers, returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thanks for your support and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.